Hello Astrotometry, this is an addendum and an errata to the last video. I was abstracting the actual um, uh, method for inverting. Um, the way that I did it, you can invert you know, the outside to the inside, but the technical way in geometry is to drop a perpendicular to the line that, or the, to the segment that is created by moving, by uh, connecting the point uh, with the center of the circle. The point you want to invert to the center of the circle, you drop a perpendicular. And the equation for this is really complex. It's actually very much different than the, the r divided by d. You can invert it with r by d, divided by d, but you don't get the same result exactly. And I was just abstracting, um, pointing to this, this process of inversion that is well documented. This is not something that I made up. This isn't something that I created. Uh, this is something I learned in a class back in 1996. And I just I went ahead and looked it back up. I wasn't planning on making that video, and I made that video just to, to point out the, the connection that the HD version of astrotometry makes. The relationship between the line and the point and infinity and the nature of, of a, a, a line um, as I see it, um, it's a line is a lot like a circle with an infinite radius. And so if this, if this line were to extend off to infinity, it would divide this plane into two pieces, just like the circle does. And that, whether or not that, uh, that circle came around in this direction or came around in this direction would be, would be the question. That's the undefined part. And that's where the inside and the outside uh, sort of are thought to connect in astrotometry. And so I was, um, I was just pointing to this as the basis for the understanding of that relationship. I wasn't trying to derive that relationship in my last video. I was just pointing to what happens when you do inversion. Um, and what I presented was consistent with what happens when you invert a triangle, a line, etc. But the process is different. The process is a little more complex. Um, and I didn't want to... Uh, I was just making it in a hurry, and I didn't take the time to go back and, and research this. This is the book from the class that I have with Hofstetter. It's called uh, uh, Geometry Revisited. It's a great book. I recommend it highly. Um, and I'm sorry if I confused some people with that. I was just trying to, I was just in a hurry.